Here we are at the front door. This is where we like to line up our shoes, and there's Teddy Bear. He likes to hang out here. And just across the hall, we have our entry table. Around the corner is our kitchen. And believe it or not, this kitchen has a whole lot of storage space, but we do still leave some stuff out on the cupboards. This is all about living functional and not about living pretty. Um, one of our biggest challenges is cramming as much as we possibly can into this tiny freezer. And we get to make our own ice as well, since there's no ice maker here. But the cool thing is, let me tell you guys, there's a dishwasher. When you empty that dishwasher, you don't have to walk more than two steps to put anything away. And in the living room, we have our little office set up. We have games there. This is about getting everything in there. Um, and one of us can be sitting on the couch and talking to the other in the kitchen and not even have to raise our voice because, hey, we don't have to. And here we have our dining area. And then we have a little balcony area. We're on the second floor here. And out there you will see our fresh patch. Uh, that was actually on Shark Tank not too long ago. And that's where Teddy Bear gets to go outside and go pee. We do take him outside too, in case you're wondering. And there is a small storage area here. All kinds of stuff crammed in. And look at our pencil tree, you guys. We're so proud of this thing. It's so skinny and you know, you know how they say that stripes look better on you? Vertically, they make you look thinner. Well, we started out by putting ribbons on this tree vertically and it made it look even skinnier than it already is. But now look, we put them on horizontally and look how nice and plump that tree looks. Ha, just kidding. Okay, we're gonna go on around the corner here and this is where my daughter's room is. We have these shelving systems that we had three in my son's room for his Lego organization and now we each have one in our room for clothing. Since we no longer have easy closets, uh, we can't fit as much in our closets, so our closets are kind of used for storage. All right, and believe it or not, there is quite a bit of storage in this apartment and uh, I have packed a lot in banker's boxes and just left the stuff in them so I can just get into them and out of them as easily as possible when needed and yet we'll be ready to move faster. And another closet full of stuff. Just across the hall is our laundry area. The washer and dryer are provided with the apartment. How nice is that? And room for supplies up above. We'll go around the corner here and yes, stored right here is a walker my husband's going to be using after his hip surgery next week in the kids' bathroom. And my son's room. We actually sold his bed and bed frame. So he has a mattress on the floor and he actually loves it. And then again here, lots of storage in the closet. And clothes are kept in one of those shelving systems. He's got all of his gaming stuff in here. He's psyched about that. All right, and into the master. Here we are with the double vanity. All right, and right across the hall is the closet. Again, lots of storage in the closet. Cramming the clothes in. And this is partially the office too with our file boxes, boxes for shipping, shredder. And then we get to have our clothes in another shelving unit, plus on top in baskets, plus in our nightstands. And no, we are not hanging pictures. So there's one big one leaning up against the wall there. All right, and that's it guys.